topic number three right here i should have i should have got my dvds and my blu-rays to show you guys because i don't know i just like you know showing them off but we got this john wick franchise right here that i'm really looking forward to and so um i like prequels some people don't but we're not only going to get a prequel for john wick we're going to be getting a tv series this was already announced but i think the platform has changed but this is topic number three john wick prequel show the continental gets 2023 release on peacock the john wick prequel show the continental stars colin waddell and mel gibson will now release on the nbc's streaming service peacock next year in 2023 um the continental is the name of the hotel that acts as a safe zone for assassins in the underground world of new york in the john wick franchise the hotel is a centerpiece for the franchise as Kiana Reeves, John Wick is a frequent guest seeking refuge while on the run and frequently defying the rules, even as he defends the establishment. The John Wick film series featured Ian McShane's Winston as the Continental Hotel manager with Lance Reddick as the main concierge Sharon. And let's see, I thought that was a, where's the quote at? I guess that's it. Hold on. My bad uh greg colleague and kurt, kurt ward serve as writers on the showrunners of the continental which stars colin waddell as a young winston scott oh, okay that's interesting managing the continental in 1975 interesting as an attempt is made to seize it all while confronting a past he thought he left behind i like that the show also stars um oyo mede adagun as young sharon peter green as uncle charlie meg gibson as cormac Ben Robson as Frankie, Hubert Point du Jour as Miles, and Jessica Alain as Lau. And I'm not going to continue to read the names. The three part special event series will be directed by Albert Hughes. So I'm assuming we're not we're not going to be getting a um a John Wick in here. And so which is fine to me. It's a prequel, you know, he's probably a teenager or something like that. Is it going to be PG 13 show? I don't know. I hope not. That would be that would be horrible if it was. That would be horrible uh but i did if this is being directed by the guy that did the book of eli in the lord of the rings the rings of power i'm down because uh, i really did enjoy those uh the continental is set to debut on peacock as liongate has struck a deal with the streamer to debut exclusively on the platform in 2023 um said the the people directing this said that the deal by bringing this special event series to peacock and putting the full power of nbc universal behind it the premiere of the continental will be streaming will be the streaming event of the year wow okay they okay i like that i like the energy um a specific release date has yet to be revealed but the continental's three-part special event series is expected in 2023 likely following on the heels of the release of john wick chapter four which is slated to debut on march 24th of 2023 and so yep that's uh coming right around the corner um Lionsgate Television Group ch Chair Kevin Beggs championed the deal as well, citing John Wick's massive, passionately engaged fan base around the world. And he said that they're excited by the opportunity to bring John Wick franchise to the next level. He also called the Continental one of the most highly anticipated streaming events of 2023. I would agree with that. There's still so much to be revealed about the Continental in terms of length, style, and tone, and how closely it will resemble the John Wick series but now it has a streaming home and an earmarked date to debut more information is sure to um is sure to reveal soon so yeah this is dope right here um i may have to get peacock just to watch this right here because i am very very excited we got john wick three i think they filmed john wick four and five at the same time but we know we're getting a john wick four I'm just gonna say we're gonna get five john wick movies total and then a three-part continental series and if it's successful why not more you know keep expanding the universe let's let's tell after john wick let's tell stories of other assassins you know what i'm saying and the origin of the continental you know the first assassin on the planet let's have it all you know i'm i'm definitely here for this molly pushback would be like i don't want you know in john wick three he kind of did seem like you know he was superman just able to beat everybody and he just couldn't die but you know other than that I i'm here for it i'm here for it uh I okay i think that's the past franchise you're talking about um khadija this is going to be exciting i hope they address how it got started with the hot table exactly exactly i miss my uncle charles y'all 
I think you're joking, uh, but that's kind of funny if we're on the same page. Um, oh, snap, the Hughes brothers. I love them. Right on, right on. I love the book on Eli, too. That was a fire-ass movie right there. That was a fire-ass movie. Um, that, sh that should be good. Uh, why have it on Peacock? This could be on Stars. Man, I don't know. They'd be just working out these deals and trying to find the best thing for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, ambitious aren't, ain't they? They are. They are. Not another streaming service I have to get. I know, man. Like, um, I might have to get cable again. All these streaming services, you know. Uh, Miss Harper, now you have my attention. This sounds good. Right on, right on, right on, right on, right on. Uh, Jehu, damn, I never got a notification for this stream. One second, one second. Let me check something real quick. One second, one second. I'm sorry, y'all. One second, one second. Oh, I'm tripping. Okay, okay. Um, but thank you. Uh, I'll have to try to fix those notifications. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hold up. Lionsgate on stars. Why didn't they put the Continental on stars? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, get Holly Bear home movie. That would be cool with them dogs. Yeah, she was she was pretty cold with it. And guys, oh, I, I'll wait on that. I'll wait on that. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, Brandon, were you a critic when Rotten Tomatoes in any of these films? Uh, John Wick and Jurassic World, I pro probably, I can't remember if I put a review on Rotten Tomatoes or not, but maybe. Um... I love Ian's acting too. And Shaul, uh, just an idea. If you're not willing to sign up for a certain streaming service, why not allow people just to rent shows on Apple TV or Roku? You make money either way. Huh. Huh. Uh, I see where you're going with it, Shaul. But at the same time, they're trying to entice people to subscribe. So to for you know month to month so if they can just tune in for one show you know they may make money but they may be losing potential money i would just have to see that charted out but i, I like where you're going with that i like where i like where you're going with that um and so you guys uh let me know will you are you in uh, are you a fan of the john wick franchise will you be watching this continental prequel series are you sick of the franchise? Uh, just let me know. I am dying to know. I am dying to know. And again, if you're watching this via live on the replay, there's a link to this down in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure.